With immersive storylines and intense gameplay, zombie games offer gamers a thrilling experience that is sure to keep you on your toes. If you're a fan of zombie survival games and you're looking for the best ones available on PC, you've come to the right place. So today, I'm going to tell you about the 25 best zombie games that offer players a unique blend of horror, strategy, and action. Like the original, Dead Frontier 2 takes you on a journey into a world of hordes of bloodthirsty zombies. Before starting the struggle, you create a character, choosing its gender and appearance. Gameplay consists of traversing gloomy locations, eliminating living corpses, helping those in need, and searching for valuable resources in the form of ammunition or elements of equipment. The latter can be used, sold, or exchanged for more useful equipment. The main heroine of Night of the Dead is Lucy. She underwent a mysterious experiment, after which she fell into a long coma. Waking up, the protagonist quickly discovers that the whole city has been taken over by the living dead. The metropolis was cut off from the world, so Lucy was locked in a deadly trap. However, not all is lost, as Lucy manages to make contact with a group of other survivors, with whom she intends to escape from the closed zone. Project Zomboid is a sandbox survival game with an isometric view. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic world, in Knox Country, inspired by the United States, where hordes of zombies rampage through. You play as one of the survivors and try to stay alive. The conditions are becoming more dangerous day by day, more and more living dead appear, and it's harder to get resources. The following is set after the events featured in Dying Light. You again take on the role of Kyle Crane, who now travels to a new location, the suburbs of Heron. Your task is to infiltrate the camp of a mysterious cult. The members of this group are immune to zombie bites and are able to use the monsters for their own purposes. Given that, they may be the key to getting rid of the plague. Undying tells the story of Anling, a woman who has to face a zombie-controlled world. Unfortunately, she has been bitten by one of the undead. Despite this, the heroine is doing everything she can to survive, not for herself but for her son Cody. Anling must teach him the art of survival in this post-apocalyptic reality before an infection kills her. The plot of Resident Evil 2 Remake corresponds exactly to the plot of the original title. The action takes place several months after the events of the first installment. After a brief period of tranquility, the deadly zombie epidemic strikes once again, and the remaining civilians of Raccoon City start to turn into the bloodthirsty creatures. At the same time, a fresh police officer named Leon Scott Kennedy arrives in the city along with a young girl named Claire Redfield, who is looking there for her lost brother. You need to be on the lookout, as hordes of zombies are still roaming the streets, and you are not superhuman. In fact, you're one of the infected yourself, and eventually you'll die, whether from hostile undead or from a virus raging in your body. But when that happens, you'll pick up the game again as a new survivor, with perks and upgrades earned based on your progress since the last time, and set out to try again. State of Decay 2 takes you to the world after the zombie apocalypse. The action is set in the United States. Towns that used to teem with life are now full of the forever hungry living dead. On the remains of the destroyed civilization, a few survivors struggle for survival every day while desperately looking for a safe shelter to protect them from hordes of the undead. World War Z is a cooperative shooter designed for four-player cooperation based on the license of a movie by the same title. World War Z takes you to a world overrun by a zombie pandemic. You control characters whose primary goal is to survive. The game features indirect references to the movie. However, seeing the movie is not necessary to understand the stories shown in the game. In 1998, a special forces team is sent to investigate some bizarre murders on the outskirts of Raccoon City. Upon arriving, they are attacked by a pack of bloodthirsty dogs and are forced to take cover in a nearby mansion. But the scent of death hangs heavy in the air. Supplies are scarce as they struggle to stay alive. Seven Days to Die is an open-world game that is a unique combination of first-person shooter, survival horror, tower defense, and role-playing games. The game is set in a brutally unforgiving post-apocalyptic world overrun by the undead. It presents combat, crafting, looting, mining, exploration, and character growth in a way that has seen a rapturous response from fans worldwide. 
The Last of Us is set in 2033, 20 years after the fall of civilization. Humanity was wiped out by a pandemic of the Cordyceps fungus. Though it usually only preys on insects, a strain of the fungus mutated and began attacking humans, causing a contagious and incurable brain disease. The infected slowly turn into aggressive bloodthirsty beasts, their only purpose being to spread the infection further. Dying Light 2 is set 20 years after the end of the first part, in 2034. After the zombie outbreak in the city of Heron was brought under control, government and corporate scientists began researching the mutant strain of rabies that caused the tragedy. They sought commercial and military uses for it for profit. However, the pursuit of money leads to disaster, and in late 2021, a virus escapes from a Geneva research lab. Days is a post-apocalyptic MNO first-person shooter. The game, created by the SEC developer Bohemia Interactive Studios, is an expanded version of a popular Arma 2 mod. Days is set in Cherna Rus, a post-Soviet country that has 225 square kilometers. It begins some time after the outbreak of the epidemic that turned most people into bloodthirsty zombies. The action of Days Gone takes place two years after the outbreak of a global pandemic virus that turned millions of people into mindless creatures, called marmots by the survivors. The main character is a former member of a motorcycle gang and now a bounty hunter, Deacon St. John. The man is trying to cope with the loss of the love of his life and the complete disintegration of the world he knew. Anything and Everything is a weapon in Dead Rising 3. Explore the zombie-infested city of Los Perdidos and find a way to escape before a military strike wipes out the entire city and all its inhabitants. With intense action and an unmatched level of weapon and character customization, Dead Rising 3 delivers a heart-pounding experience unlike any other as you explore, scavenge, and fight to survive in a massive open world on the brink of a zombie apocalypse. The world is shaken by the catastrophe. As a result of an epidemic caused by a deadly parasite, a large part of the human population has died. Cities are also overrun by the ridden hosts of the parasite that transforms them into monstrous creatures that spread destruction. A group of survivors known as the Cleaners decide to work together to confront the horde of hungry zombies and reclaim their civilization. In Deadlight, we learn the story of a man named Randall Wayne, who has to survive in the post-apocalyptic version of our world. The protagonist travels along the coast of the United States, where a virus of unknown origin turns people into crazed killers. Traversing subsequent locations, Wayne tries to understand the meaning of the flashes from the past that haunt him. In Dead Island, you take on the role of one of four characters, each differing in gender, appearance, and characteristics. You wake up surrounded by people who are sure they are going to turn into living corpses at any moment. It is not easy to recall how and by whom you were bitten. It turns out that the island, a real paradise on Earth, set somewhere near Papua New Guinea, was taken over by zombies. Where did they come from? It is unknown. Only one fact is obvious. You have to try to survive and help other people with that. The game takes place in the titular state of Arizona, specifically near the Grand Canyon. You are transported to a post-apocalyptic reality in which the world is filled with bloodthirsty zombies. Each time someone hears a human voice through the radio, a spark of hope is created. Your task is to survive in the confrontation with aggressive enemies. A large arsenal of weapons, mostly guns, will help you with that. Following the rules of the survival sandbox genre, the game takes you to an open world plagued by a zombie epidemic with one fundamental task, to survive. You are going to deal with unrestricted exploration of the area in search of raw materials necessary for survival, interaction and cooperation or competition with other players, and above all the elimination of zombies appearing alone or in groups. During the game you have to take care of the basics, such as your health level, thirst, and hunger. In Death Road to Canada, your task is to eliminate zombie hordes, but this time, the whole story offers a large dose of humor. You have to secure the route from Florida to Ontario and survive the hordes of zombies. Creatures behave in a typical way. They are slow and stupid, but they never stop chasing you. In order to deal with a difficult and long journey, you have to collect supplies, find other survivors, and effectively eliminate starving zombies. 
The game is split into episodes that make up seasons, just like a TV show. The story begins at the outbreak of the zombie apocalypse, when Rick Grimes, the protagonist of the comic, is in a coma. The protagonist of the first season of The Walking Dead is Lee Everett. When the infection begins its bloody harvest, Lee is sitting handcuffed in the backseat of a police car. He was arrested for murdering a man who slept with his wife. 1978. A lowing bus, a terrible crash, out upon the old and winding dirt roads that skirt a vast American wilderness. The survivor is a young woman, Alicia, whose mind is scored by the tragedy of life. She is alone, she is injured. Around her quietly and slowly a surreal and deadly nightmare unfolds. Alicia is fighting for her life when she finds herself in the midst of events she doesn't understand, a change gripping the world around her. Its nature and cause are unknown. The final season takes place a few years after the events depicted in A New Frontier. Clementine is the protagonist of the story. The boy named AJ returns as well and Clementine is taking care of him. The story of the final season was written among other people by Gary Witt, the creator of the story of The Walking Dead Season 1. Shaped by the events depicted in previous seasons, Clementine is trying to create a normal life. In order to achieve this goal, she must become the leader of a new community. This is my list of the best zombie games. If you have something to add, feel free to leave any comments here. If you liked this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel.